Well, this isn't an everyday project for me. This is a bit of a passion project. We're in Lehman in Western Australia, in the Midwest, on the Batavia coastline, and we're here to shoot a personal project on the coastal shacks. The coastline between here and Geraldton, it's relatively uninhabited, except for these coastal shacks and small fishing villages. It's just sand dunes and coastal scrub. You get a lot of seaweed on the beach, so they're probably less than picturesque. Kind of almost like the forgotten part, you know, it's the less visited by tourists. It's more humble, I suppose. Well, there is a certain level of nostalgia that goes along with this stretch. I've passed these coastal shacks so many times, driving up towards Geraldton, where I went to high school. We used to build cubbies in the bush with just sticks and leaves and whatever else. And these were just slightly more advanced <laughs> versions of that. So they just looked fun. My name is Cockatoo, and this is my story. Well, the ones that are here now, like this one, are still operated by fishermen. So you've got to live here to fish here. And when I was fishing here in the late 70s, there probably would have been 128 camps up there at Cliffhead. I don't know how many along here. After all the little boats and that are gone, and then the big boats sort of took over, well, and the shacks had to be pulled down. They destroyed about 120. 40 years, they would have been here 40 years, and some of them well before that. They stand there as a bit of a monument to a different way of life. So I've always wondered who these people are and why they live there and what their life's like. There's less and less people living on the coastline. So being able to document and tell someone's story potentially will be part of their legacy. I'm so isolated. I don't like having too many people around me. You can relax, I can do what I want to, and it works out really good. I've often thought of the camera as a device to allow a conversation. The photography actually gives you an excuse of why you're approaching these people and why you can interact with them. The camera doesn't make the photo, the photographer does, and the way that they interact with their subject and how invested in those stories or how much they know about their subject matter or how much they've researched, it all really unfolds with the decisions that you make photographically. So what do you think the future holds for these shacks? Well, it'll hold up here while I'm still alive, and then after that, I don't know what's going to happen because all them shacks that are right on the water have all gone. Even the one up on the hill now has all fell down in the ocean. The water's just building up and taking over the land. And that's where the old ashes will go, well, just there in the water. <laughs> well, why would I want to leave here, you know? The style I'm going to shoot this project in is quite detail orientated. So having the R5 and its immense resolution and the, the sharpness of the lenses will just really enhance that aspect of the storytelling. We want to be able to see all of the things and stuff in the image. They're all artifacts of this character's life. So we want to be able to capture as much detail in that scene as possible to help with that narrative. And the R5 is just a perfect vessel for that. What am I unsure about? Yeah. If I'll make a good image. <laughs> is that what's going through your head? Oh, always. Yeah, I, I totally stress about whether or not I'm gonna succeed in my goal or not. Like whenever I shoot, I've got that little bit of stress that goes, is that it? You know, have you got it yet? I'm not sure if you got it, you should go again. Let's keep pushing, push, let's do something else, something else about it, let's try something else, let's You know, it just drives that uh, process. I think if things start to feel comfortable and easy, it's because you've done them before or you've seen it before or it's been repeated. And when you're feeling out of your comfort zone, when you're nervous about whether or not 
you're going to get it or you're worried about how it's going to look or, you know, whatever that uncomfortable feeling is, I think that's part of my process. 